recipe you will like. Learn how to make lazy pasta without dirtying the pan. I will 200 grams of pasta. Then I will add 250 grams of then I will add an onion cut into julienne on top of the sauce. Now I'm going to add three crushed garlic cloves and mix a little easy pasta that we are making. It is super easy to make and it looks delicious well one will like the result. Once the garlic is incorporated, I'm going to add a little oil. You can put a little butter or margarine. Next, I'm going to s a teaspoon of curry, a, t a pinch of black pepper to give a special touch to the recipe, the species of your preference or with the one you have at home. Already seasoned, I will are completely covered, but the water should be at room temperature. And we only have to make noodles do not stick to us. At this moment I would like to know, from which country send you a special greeting in the next recipe. The greeting in today's recipe is for Joyce Tr also for Bunga Mawar from Singapore, and Julius Pravito from Philippines, and enjoying our recipes. Already mixed, I will take it to the gram Celsius for 15 minutes. While in the oven, we will grate cheese. In what I am doing this step, I would like you to tell me, if you and also from which country or city you see us, to send you a greeting in the fall after 15 minutes in the oven. I will add all the mozzarella cheese on top, factory. If you have come this far seeing today's recipe, that means that you are- So leave us here below the following message, I love spaghetti. To send you a very- I will add a little oregano. I recommend adding oregano, as this will be. Again, I will take it to the oven, but this time only until the cheese ready our lazy noodles are ready. A unique and different recipe, super the pan. But I would like you to rate this recipe, from 0 to 10. Thank you for watching this recipe until the end. I hope you it's the first time you see one of my recipes. And if so, don't forget recipes only and activate the bell so you can always receive our rest. A hug and see you in the next recipe.